So here's my problem. I have a high spec PC here in my room, but I have a crappy laptop. Obviously, I can't move that big PC uh, out and about on campus, but sometimes I'm away on campus and I need to be able to access uh, something with you know better hardware. So I needed a way to remotely access my uh, desktop PC uh, from my laptop. So I found the best solution is to use Google Chrome. Everyone has Google Chrome, and this is just so fast, easy, free. It's honestly the best solution. Okay, so this is how you're going to do it. Um, right now I'm on the computer which I'm planning to wirelessly access. So the first step is to install Chrome if you haven't already. And then I put down the link to get to Chrome Remote Desktop. So this is just a um, this is yeah this is just an app for Chrome. And I've already installed it. But if not here, you will just have an Add App, and then another box will pop up, and you just click Add. It's all pretty obvious. And yeah, then you'll be taken to this page, which if you want, I can go by clicking on Apps and Chrome Remote Desktop. Okay, so I've opened this now. Right, and at the bottom it here, here it says My Computers, and it says you must enable remote connections if you want to use Chrome Remote Desktop to access this computer. So yeah, that's exactly what we want. So enable remote connections, and then it asks to install something quickly. So you just click Accept and Install. So yeah, just save that to wherever and get that downloaded. Okay, so now that it's uh, installed where it's needed, it asked me to set a pin. So that's a pin for me to be able to access this computer. So remember it, because it's important. So yeah, just click yes again. So remote connections for this computer have been enabled. Click OK now. Cool, so now it says my computers and it says Hydra, which is the name of my PC. And now we're going to switch over to my laptop. Right, so now we're looking at my laptop. Apologies, it's too slow to run any uh, screen cap software, so I've literally got a camera pointed to it. Okay, so go back to that Chrome remote desktop link I gave you and add it to Chrome on the laptop now. So, add up. So this is why I skipped over in the last one because I had already added it, but I thought I should probably show how it's done. It's okay. So now, all right, it's added to Chrome. Uh, it says checking. Come on, come on. Okay, cool. So it's automatically taken me to the apps page, but like I said, if not, you just click apps up there. Okay, so now you click Chrome Remote Desktop. All right, so now that you're here, you can go down here, so it says My Computers, access your own computer from anywhere. Click Get Started, and now under My Computers, you can see the computer we set up, um, Hydra. So if I click that, it asks the pin, so we type in the pin which we set earlier. So if you want, you can even tick so that it doesn't have to ask from now on, well, when you have access uh, that computer from this specific laptop. And I just click connect. Okay, so right now the now we are on. Now we are on my desktop PC. So um, here's a few tips to like speed it up as much as possible. Lower the resolution to as far as you're comfortable. Like as the smaller the resolution, the uh, the faster it will run. But obviously nothing too low, because then you'll be pretty hard to get anything done so yeah, I'm sure you'll know how to do that just click right click on the desktop it's really small here display settings and then you click advanced display settings and then you can lower the resolution down to something much more comfortable and fast so maybe 1366 by 768 okay so now we are running um, yeah, we are basically streaming everything, all the contents on my desktop PC to my laptop. So let me show you what kind of speeds you can you can sort of ex expect. Um, let's open something like SolidWorks, one of engineers' favorite tools. So yeah, just to prove that it is running the same thing. So as you can see, it's doing things pretty quickly. It's got no issues and it's able to, you know, produce 
quick stuff like this which you know obviously this laptop would not be able to do and you can see everything is going pretty fast pretty smoothly not much of a lag so what I'm gonna do to help you compare what sort of performance you should get to what I'm getting I'll show you my internet speeds on both my laptop and PC so Ralph, basically speaking the faster your internet speeds the you know the better this will be and the less lag you will have Anyway, I really hope this helps, so please do subscribe. I'm trying to get a video done every week, and it'll be cool stuff like this. Thank you very much.